In this video, we're going to talk about why a demo reel is so important for actors and what you should do if you don't already have one. Let's get started. What's up, my fellow actors? Welcome to the Acting Career Center, here to help you learn the skills you need to break into the film and television industry. My name is Kurt Yu. Thank you so much for spending some time here with me today. If it's your first time here, make sure to subscribe to this channel to get more videos on acting, auditioning, and career advice. Now, before we get started today, I just want to share a few updates. I know some of you like me to update you on what projects I'm working on, so I've had kind of an exciting week of things getting released that I've worked on earlier this year. So number one is uh, the show Ordinary Joe. I worked on episode four of it that just aired uh, this past Monday on NBC. I played Dr. Cho on that show and if you didn't get a chance to catch it live you can watch it on NBC.com right now or on PeacockTV.com. So check that out and maybe I come back in future episodes. So You'll have to tune in to find out. In addition to Ordinary Joe, I also have a few projects that I worked on just, just dropped on streaming networks. Number one is a show called Dope Sick on Hulu. I also play a doctor on that show, and uh, I'm in episode three of that. And then I also worked on a show called Just Beyond that just came out on Disney+. Plus. And I play a school teacher named Mr. Hartsburg on episode seven. So those three, oh, one more thing, uh, Black Widow right there just dropped on Disney Plus for all subscribers for free. Basically, if you're subscribed to Disney Plus, you can now watch it without, without paying a premium fee. So if you wanna watch me, Anywhere other than YouTube land, you can check me out on either Ordinary Joe or Dope Sick or Just Beyond or Black Widow on any of those platforms. Oh, and if you remember in my video where I talked about Black Widow, I said that three of my four scenes got cut from the movie and you only got to see me in one scene. Well, guess what? The other three scenes made it into the deleted scenes on Disney+. Plus. So if you go into the extras and you watch the deleted scenes, you may see me a few more times. So I didn't lie to you. I did not lie to you in that video. All right, let's get into this video today, which we are going to be talking about why a demo reel is so important for actors. And if you don't have a demo reel, what you should do. So why even have a demo reel, right? Well, what is it used for? Well, in this industry, casting directors, agents, producers, basically anybody in the industry who makes decisions, who can give you an audition or who can cast you in a project, they use demo reels to gauge an actor's ability because acting is an evidence-based profession. What do I mean by that? I mean that we in the industry don't need to hear people tell us that they're good actors. We want them to show us that they are good actors, right? Because talk is cheap. Actions speak louder than words, all those cliches, right? So instead of someone saying, oh, I'm a really good actor, I want, I want to be, uh, I want an agent, I'm a really good actor, or I want an audition, I'm a really good actor. Unless you can back it up with video footage, meaning a demo reel, to show us that you're a really good actor. And when I say us, I'm, I'm kind of putting myself in the, uh, on the other side of the camera, on the production side, but I'm not, I'm not a producer, I'm not an agent, I'm not a casting director, but I'm kind of using myself as if I were in their shoes, what are they asking for? They want to see evidence that you are a good actor. They want to see footage that you're a good actor. So if you don't have anything to show, then they're just going to move on. They're going to move on to the next person who has a demo reel who can show them. I always compare this to, like imagine instead of an actor, you were a graphic designer, right? And you want a job to let's say create logos for companies. If I'm a company and I wanted to hire someone as a graphic designer and you volunteer your services, you say, hey, please hire me. I'm a graphic designer, I'm really good at it. And what am I gonna ask for? I'm gonna say, well, please show me your some of your prior work. I'd love to see what other things that you've designed to get an idea of what your skills are. And if I like what you've done, then I'll hire you to create my logo. So that's the same thing for an actor. Right? When a casting director or an agent is looking at you and you say, I want representation or I want an audition for your project, 
they're going to say, well, show me some of your prior work so that we can decide whether or not we want to represent you or if we want to give you an audition for our project because we want to see some of your prior work. But this is where there's kind of a catch-22 of the industry. A lot of actors will say, well, if I need a demo reel to get work, then how do I create a demo reel if I can't get work? Right? It's kind of a weird situation. And let's bring it back to that graphic designer example. If you want to be a working graphic designer and get hired by companies and they want to see some of your, your work, what do you do? Well, you should create it on your own. Before you get hired to be a professional, before you get someone to pay you to do something, first, create your own stuff. What would a graphic designer do? They would spend hours by themselves at their desk making their own graphics, making their own logos, making whatever it is that they want to do for companies to create a portfolio to show them. They're not getting paid for it. Nobody is asking them to do it. But if you do all that and then you create this portfolio to show people to say, I would love to be a graphic designer. Here's the work. Here's some examples of work that I've done. Then they get an idea of your abilities as an artist and they'll be more willing to hire you. Take this back to acting. Before anybody pays you to act, before anybody uh, offers you representation, before anybody gives you an audition, you can do the work yourself to create projects, to create things to put onto your demo reel and then you have something to show them. So what's, what is something that you can do to create something for your demo reel? Well, here's something that I did when I was just starting out. I would get together with my friends from acting class, get together with them outside of class on the weekends and write, shoot, direct, edit, and do our own short film. Make our, we would make our own short films. We'd had a lot of fun doing it, plus, at the end, we now have footage for all of us to put on our demo reels. That's an easy way to create your own demo reel footage to now have something to show anybody who asked for you to show them your work, to show them an example of your acting ability. And that sounds pretty easy, right? Getting together with your friends and filming something with yourself. And look, you don't even have to have a fancy camera. Just use your phone, either anybody's phone use that because they all have HD cameras these days and they're going to be super high quality already. Film something with your phone, film a scene with your friends, cut that together and create a demo reel for yourself. And look, you don't even have to go that far. You could do something even easier than that. Instead of shooting a short film, you could just shoot a self tape audition. Use a blank wall like I got behind me, frame it from mid chest to the top of your head and just shoot a scene like this. This will show them your acting ability. Again, that's what they really want to see. They want to get an idea of what your acting ability is. And if you can show them in a self tape type of video, that's perfect. That's all you need when you're just getting started. Now, one thing I do want to point out is I would recommend that if you're going to do something like this is to shoot a scene instead of a monologue. I've talked about monologues in previous videos, but if you haven't seen that, what I would recommend is doing a scene with a partner with a scene partner where there is dialogue between two people because when people in the industry especially people that work in the film and television side when they're watching your demo reel and they're trying to get a gauge of your acting abilities they not only do they want to see you speaking but they also want to see you reacting and when you do a monologue, you don't really get to show that reacting part of it. So that's why I would recommend a scene with multiple people so that you get to talk and you also get to listen. So when you record a demo reel as a self tape or a self tape as a demo reel rather, when you record a self tape as a demo reel, do it as a scene where you're the person on camera, you have a reader off camera saying the other lines of the other characters and then perform that scene. And it doesn't have to be long. It only has to be, for a demo reel purposes, the scene only has to be maybe 30 seconds to a minute long because all they need is a short little piece 
uh, to see your acting ability. And remember, this is just how you get started. This isn't your demo reel for the rest of your career, but this is your beginner demo reel to show people your acting ability. Eventually, you'll be doing more stuff. You'll be doing maybe a student film or indie projects, and you might get better scenes than what you created on your own, in which case you can replace it or add to it. Add to your demo reel with your new footage. And this is something that you're gonna do throughout your career. You'll eventually add to it and replace stuff with better things. My current demo reel is a collection of projects that I've worked on in the past few years here in Atlanta, but that's only been the past few years, right? It, it wasn't my demo reel in the beginning. In the beginning, it was the, the stuff that I created with my friends, and then it was student films and indie projects, and maybe the first few things I booked through my first agency in Ohio. And then coming down to Atlanta, I put on a few more projects and then I got rid of those and added better projects that I've worked on. And so if you wanna see my current demo reel, you can go to my IMDB page and it's right there. I'll put a link to it down in the description below. And now that you've created a demo reel, where should you put it so that people can find it? Well, number one, I would recommend putting it on your actor website if you have one. If not, use your casting profiles like Actors Access or Casting Networks or Backstage. This is These are the websites that industry professionals will go to to check out what you've done, uh, especially here in the United States. I know in other countries, they may use different websites. So put those on your casting websites in whatever region that you're in. And then uh, I would also recommend putting it on your IMDb. If you have IMDb Pro, you can put your photo up there, you can put videos up there. So if you have an IMDb Pro account, put your demo reel on there like I've done with mine. Otherwise, you could just simply put it on YouTube. Create a YouTube link with your video. Basically what you want, whether it's a website, whether it's on, it's on uh, your casting profiles or it's on IMDb or it's just a video on YouTube. What you want is that whenever somebody in the industry, be it a, uh, an agent or casting director or producer or director or even an acting coach or anybody in this industry, if they ask for it, you should be able to give it to them right away. You should be able to say, okay, let me email you a link or let me text you a link. And then they should be able to watch your demo, demo reel immediately. This is the way to get your stuff out there so that people can see what your acting ability is okay this is basically everything that i'm telling you in this video of creating your own demo reel whether it's doing it with friends or just creating a, a self-tape style demo reel and then putting it out on your website and all this stuff all of this is within your control. You don't need an agent to do this for you. You don't need someone to give you auditions to make you do this. This is you taking control of your own career, right? We don't need the outside world to push us along. This industry and this profession as an actor really requires you to be self-motivated and self-starting and get yourself out there. Create your own projects, create your own demo reel, put it out there so that people can see you so that in the future you'll get representation you'll get auditions from casting directors you'll get cast in movies and tv shows this is the way to start everything from the beginning some people will ask can i get an agent if i don't have a demo reel and the answer is yeah it's possible but it's a heck of a lot harder you increase your chances dramatically if you do have a demo reel look i asked my agent this question uh, earlier this year, maybe it was last year, I can't remember, but recently I asked my agent, how many submissions do you get every month from actors looking for representation? And they told me hundreds, every single month, they get hundreds of actors contacting them asking for representation. And let's say half those actors have demo reels and half don't. Now, if I'm an agent, why would I waste my time looking at the submissions of the actors that don't have demo reels, right? I'm trying to represent actors. And in order to represent an actor, I have to know if you're good at acting. If you haven't shown me that, I don't wanna waste my time. If I have all these other actors who did provide videos of them acting so that I know their level of acting ability, well, this gives me much more to work with. And here's the other thing about demo reels. It's not just about getting the agent. You gotta understand that a demo reel is also used by the agent when they are representing you to pitch you to casting directors. Your agent will use your demo reel and then show it to the casting director and say, hey, here's my actor. 
they're really talented because check out their demo reel. It shows right there. Please give them an audition. Now, if you don't have a demo reel, what does your agent have to use to pitch you to a casting director? All they can say is, hey, here's a headshot of my actor. I promise you they're really talented, but I can't show you. So will you give them an audition, please? And they're probably, the casting director then is less likely to give an audition to that actor because they have many other actors to choose from that do have demo reels that they can trust more because they are able to see their acting ability. Hope that all makes sense on why a demo reel is so important throughout all stages of your career. Okay, I hope that was helpful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, we're getting really close to 100,000 subscribers. And until next time, keep practicing, keep learning, and I hope to see you on set one day.